Good morning guys, this is Kenzo Extra Hot Forex. So let's go straight to our daily analysis. You know what? Uh, today it's Friday and we still have uh, NFP. We have NFP. So let's expect the markets to shoot, like really shoot up or down. So we're still waiting for that to happen. But at the moment, uh, we're still here. Uh, we're still here. The market is still uh, trying to recover. Uh, from those sell-offs you can see as we start with oil guys or oh, before i continue smash that subscribe button like share with your friends let's grow the channel thanks to everyone who already subscribed guys thank you thank you very much so uh, don't forget to ask questions on the comment side if you have any question or if maybe you want me to add something or to show you something uh, related to the market then yeah that way it's how maybe i can try to help you you see so here we start with oil or before we start with oil remember we still have ten dollars vip signals guys this is going to change to hundred dollars we also have a signal system uh, which one is, uh, which is going to send you the signals so on those system is mt4 system we also have mt5 but at the moment uh, i'm still selling the one which is uh it's ten dollars for mt4 that is not uh, if it's ten dollars it doesn't mean it's not strong it's very very strong guys uh i hope you can just call me check my description you will find my contacts then you can just whatsapp me or telegram me then you can get the system thanks guys so let's start uh, with our with our us oil uh us oil or yt oil <coughs> Sorry. So, <clears throat> what do we see on this thing, guys? Uh, I hope you can see it clearly. I hope you can see it clearly. So, I also send you a signal here. You can see that you can buy around 68.34. Remember, guys, this is just my analysis. But around this area, it's where I can see that I can have a very nice buy because the market just retested and now it's trying to go up. Remember, this thing's also very volatile, but I, what I like is I already, we already got that breakout. You can see the breakout happened here, a small retest, and now the market is pushing to the right side. And we also see that the market was like on this bearish momentum, which we also drawn this resistant line. You can see that line. So from that line, you can see that the market was just creating this nice downtrend. You can see that so from that downtrend people were just selling people were just selling around these areas if you know what you're doing people they will they sell i mean traders they sell around those areas actually they don't buy on a bull uh, on, on a downtrend and that is very safe you is very very safe but sometimes the market might confuse you and sometimes you don't see that downtrend maybe you just see something like this you think maybe the market is going to come here and push up something like that or here again then the market keeps selling because maybe you did not identify you did not identify the trend correctly that is also the issue guys so please go learn how to identify these things check my previous videos i don't know like four months earlier i think around Oga, around may somewhere there there's a videos there's videos which i showed people how to identify the trends how to draw the trends line please go back and check them they might help you if you're still struggling with that so on us oil we see that the market was just selling off this was a downtrend then now the market is changing the direction the market is no longer respecting that wall which means now the market might start to do something like this going up I hope you understand that i hope you understand that so if the market is going to change the direction it means even on the position side we still going to do the same thing we're still going to do what to buy 
and not sell because here we were selling now it's time to buy i hope you understand that guys so let's move to the next one which is gold so uh, gold gold i need to uh, let me add this oh gold okay so here is gold guys so what do you see on gold remember today i'm just using an, an, an hour time frame so on gold is quite simple straightforward uh, even if it's uh, it's on an hour time frame because i see if i change the time frame here still we're going to see the same thing so it's better on an one hour like this so what do you see firstly you have to identify the thread that is the first thing that you should do once you identify the trend you should know that okay after i, I identified the trend it means i'm going to look for this uh, whether to sell or to buy you see so now you identify the trend you see oh this thing is heading or it's going down which means it's a downtrend which means you only do what sell don't look for buy positions around these areas <laughs> don't look for that you see so wait <coughs> sorry Ech. Ech, sorry sorry guys i can't cut this video still early sinus is the playing all over so sorry for that so after you identified the trend you see that okay we see a downtrend uh, let me say dt uh, downtrend so on a downtrend like this we only look for the market uh, we look for something like that we look for the market to reach this support area but sometimes the market will take time to come around these areas what can you do it's where you start to do your your, your, your inner trends lines <laughs> like you can try to draw something like this you start to see okay the market reached here and turned back here you were not you were not going to do anything but here you were just going to sell here you were just going to sell this one seems to be breaking that but you can still continue doing that and just maximize or scaling up on your sell positions you see but if you i like it to get it here because mostly when it reaches here it will just give you those crazy moves those crazy candlesticks do you see that i hope you even see it here so something like that so that's how we trade uh, on the trends so for us to buy on this trend it means the market has to go up break break this support area i uh, sorry resistant area before we can say now it's time to buy and we're going to wait for a retest first to happen before we say now it's time to buy i hope you understand that or maybe we can say what if the market is continuing uh, it's going to continue to sell uh, something like this if you see the market what if the market is going to continue to sell we're going to wait for the market to break this, the support area then when we see that retest we can say you know what this is going to be another nice sell then we can just keep scaling up like that and going down like that i hope you understand like that uh, whatever that i'm trying to show you here so it means when you see the market doing something like this it's a downtrend we can just look for at the moment we look for sell positions but if it goes up we'll be waiting for this area here if it breaks we will change the direction and say now it's time to buy as the market is changing the trend i hope you understand that so let's move straight to your us 30 so on us 30 guys i hope you can see this uh, on a bigger time frame we see that we were on a very nice support area then when we go back and i think my people killed this one yesterday i also sent the the signal in the group so let's see so from that bigger time frame when we go to a bit a bit small time frame we want to understand what's really happening yesterday we were focusing on this area let me show you something uh, let me show you something what i was doing so you see this area the market is doing like uh, steps going lower and lower 
in this area you see that so let me do something like this so here the market was just going down came back retest play that game again here came the market did the same thing push to lower now the market is above this you see this block here this was our resistance now the market is playing along with that now it's respecting that and now it's pushing up so it means for us actually you can buy it's, it's very uh, risky to buy around this area so the best thing that we can do is we just have to wait for the market because the market it shows that it's respecting these areas we need to wait for the market to break those areas and see you can see the market was doing something like this to break this resistant area then we can say now we back on that bullish yes we understand that the market was like on the support maybe it was pushing up as we see that but there were so crazy consolidations to show that you know what actually the market is still under that bearish even if we were very close actually we can see the market was uh, on a wedge we can just throw something like this and here it's a support area so the market started to do something like this and even now it's possible that the market can uh, keep going lower but it seems like already the market is breaking that area so it means we can just wait for the market to reach somewhere here maybe let's say 34,800 to show us that okay you know what i really broke that so after that or maybe we can just say let's wait for the market to close uh, on an hour time frame uh, when the candle close we don't know if it's going to close below or close above that so if it's going to close below it means the market might keep going lower but if it close above it means maybe the market will keep pushing up because there's two strategy for that you can just jump on the market when you see the market uh, closing above the resistance or you can just say you know what i'm just going to wait for a retest before i can say i jump in the market or maybe even if that retest doesn't happen you can just say i'm going to wait for a higher low something like that you can't miss the market the whole day i mean the whole week or the whole month you can miss it today maybe you missed it here but here you were going to get it if you missed it here here you were going to get it if you miss the breakout still you're going to get it so it's the best thing that you can do to tell, to tell yourself that okay if there is a missed opportunity there will always be the next one i hope you understand that so here i think you can see that at the moment the market is trying to break that so we're going to buy if the market is going to close above that then we're going to have a buy and i think if we have that breakout we can just place our stop loss around this area and we can just hold as long as we want guys i think this thing is still going to recover you can just hold maybe up to maybe thirty six thousand, up to around that area up to around this area around this area but the market won't just jump and reach there immediately the market is going to create some higher highs and maybe it might take two weeks three weeks even a month maybe to reach there but it's also possible it can reach there within a day it's possible so i hope you understand that and i hope you you don't confuse yourself with so much of information that well, which is not necessary stick to the simplest things they will be going to make your job very easy uh, even if whatever that you do is not easy i hope you understand and you're taking the points here so yeah i think on your state we done so let's go did we do nasdaq oh no we did not do nasdaq so on nasdaq guys still on an hour time frame we see we have a very let me use two hours maybe you will see nicely uh, we still have this downtrend this is a downtrend uh, we see that the market from this area the market was just uh, pushing lower the market was just pushing lower the market is pushing lower and when we see that we see that the market is still under that bearish and now we see that the market is also respecting some form here so which means we should be very very smart because this might really push the market lower because look we have nfp and we don't know the outcome yet so it means it's possible you see this area this area might be like this 
this area might be doing something like this come play around here push lower the market might come back play around there push lower which we call this what downtrend the market will be creating some downtrend and if we draw the lines here you might find that the market is creating something that we know but in a different way this thing mostly happen on on gold so the market might create something like that something like this because at the moment this is what this is what it's happening that's what i see but what do you do if maybe the market is going to a uh, break let me do this if the market is going to break this small support here uh you know what i can say from this area here actually this is a horizontal support uh, we can say so the resistant it was a support here now a resistance so we can then buy from here but we must also think about this area as a resistance the market can reach this area and bounce back so the best thing that you can do around before you reach there before you reached before you reach uh let me put this thing here before you reach uh, like around your, your your resistant area make sure you get out quicker because the market might come back again or again the best thing is to do what if maybe you feel like that is not safe you can just wait for the market to break the, the resistance because this is we still under that bearish momentum we're still on a downtrend which means the best thing again is to wait for a breakout then we can say you know what now we push into the sky we go into the moon as nasdaq has been pushing to the sky so i think i forgot to add uh i forgot to add german 30 which is fine guys uh, most people they don't trade that so i think with this type of information or uh, whatever that i tried to show you today uh, that is great guys you can just go there learn compare with your previous analysis and stuff like that then you can improve very quickly you can improve very quickly so you don't need to so to draw so many things here and stuff like that only the strength lines they can really help you don't forget that we have that vip special VA signals for only ten dollars you pay once then you forget you, you you forget you see so also a signal system indicator which you plug on mt4 which is also ten dollars for now and there will be a robot a robot which is going to be it's a very powerful robot guys i'm not going to make this one cheap it's hundred dollars you pay once you just go do your thing this one is way way too powerful so i hope you're going to get it also let me know and uh, let me know if you are interested uh then i can say you know what yeah you can just get the robot because it's not for everyone i hope you understand that this is kenzo extra hot forex uh have a very great weekend uh, starting from tomorrow or today plus next week we're going to have a very nice winning streak winning streak repeat this every day guys this thing that will manifest when you do your things this is kenzo extra hot forex i hope you liked the video i hope you subscribed bye